They're like, yo, Eddie Starr, if you had a top five NBA starting, who who would you who would you pick? Okay, if I had an NBA starting five, as a top five NBA starting five. Point guard, you got to go Magic. Magic, I mean, after I read the Showtime book by Jeff Perlman, which I'm going to do a review on, Magic was incredible. His passing, his vision was like no, no nothing else. I, I mean, I really, I never seen him play. I'm just going off the book. And uh, this guy was incredible. You know, he was a giver. He was a person that was always trying to look to make his teammates better. He was always pushing his teammates. You know, he was a man. I mean, think about it. Uh, Michael Jordan looked up to Magic at one time. And at one point... They called Michael Jordan Magic Mike. <laughs> That's probably a fact you didn't know. But if you read the Jordan book by Ronald Lazenby, which I'm going to do another book review on. Uh, I mean, like I said, Magic was a fucking man. It's just that people kind of look at Magic like, ah, uh, he, you know, like Jordan was, I mean, but it was Jordan. I mean, shit. I mean, it's not too many people that's Jordan. So, so Jordan only come like once in a lifetime. It's like how many Muhammad Ali's do you see? It's not, it's not many. So, but you know, Magic was at at going towards the end of his career. It's kind of like how Kobe and LeBron is. Like Kobe's going towards the end of his career, and LeBron is, you know, now the guy like coming up. So that's kind of how it was with with Jordan and uh, Magic. Magic was going towards the end of, end of his career. And um, my Jordan was entering his prime. So, Magic, for those reasons, Magic was just an incredible passer. He just had, I mean, think about it. He came in his rookie season and took the uh, Lakers all the way to the championship. I believe Kareem Abdul-Jabbar got, got hurt. And he said, fuck it, no, no fear, Magic is here. So, Magic came in there and Magic, you know, did whatever he had to do. His rookie season. Mind you, uh, Larry Bird won a rookie of the year, but but uh, uh, Magic was the one who won um, Finals MVP, and he was a well, he was a man. I don't know if Finals MVP, but he won the championship because Captain Hook. I mean Captain, uh, what's his name? He he was he was out. So uh, Magic's just incredible. He's he's before my time, but. After reading that book, I have a high, high, high opinion of, of Magic. So uh, now we got to go to shooting guard. This is controversial. I'm a diehard Kobe fan, right? And I believe that Kobe's unstoppable. When he in his prime, it was like nobody could stop him. But I had to give it to Jordan. Jordan was just the greatest. Jordan, I don't even have to go in depth of how great Jordan was. Jordan, of course, had his bad games, but Jordan was just, I mean, he, it was a lot, it had a lot to do with Nike. Nike, the way that they branded him, the way that they put him out there. There was a lot of resentment about uh, Mike, my, Michael Jordan when he first came into the league. He kind of got, um, they staged a mutiny against him. When he was in the All-Star game, they kind of didn't talk to him. They kind of was just like, ah, this dude think he all that. Whatever. He, you know, this that North Carolina boy. He don't know nothing, right? And Jordan really had to prove himself. Because his first couple years, he was getting beat up. They was just punking him. And um, Jordan was just incredible. I mean, I, let's just speak about... Let's just speak about basketball because the branding aspect, he was, I mean, wearing, he had, they, Nike had came with a concept of wearing band shoes, right? So the shoes that Jordan was wearing was banned, right? And Nike said, screw it. I mean, if you just put the shoes on, just wear them. So he threw the shoes on and he was wearing them. And, uh, 
you know, that's what made his shoes hot because it was like, oh, these are the shoes that was that are banned. So his shoe sales took off, you know, and he was just an incredible player. He was doing stuff that people was not seeing before. He, because of Jordan, he spurred a lot of these point guards that wanted ball hog and, you know, the Allen Iversons. He spurred a lot of, even people that wasn't his height, he spurred a lot of people to play that type of way that Jordan played. He's, I mean, Kobe. Kobe was looking at Jordan, of course. He stole all of Jordan's moves. I mean, so Jordan, it's just his greatness. I don't understand how you can win three championships, leave, go play baseball. All right, come back that other year and play, number 45 year was a crappy year, right? And, ah, George passes prime. You know, he's had a Tiger Woods year. He's like, ah, whatever. He ain't going to be nothing, right? And it comes back that following year. And, and kills it. Wins another three championships. And mind you, he was the one that won 72 games. 72 games. 72 and 10. And they had the shirt that don't mean a thing without a ring. Ron Harper. I remember that. That's, I mean, if you had to see, you had to see Jordan. Towards, his, towards the end of his career. I, I only look at him as a bull. I don't remember him as a wizard. I mean, I, I know he was a wizard, but. I kind of just didn't see Jordan. I, I only see him as Bull, but the greatest shooting guard of all time, greatest player of all time, in my opinion. As far as the three, I have to give it to LeBron James. It's the hands down, LeBron James. I know a lot of people don't like LeBron James. I, I know a lot of them say he kind of shies away in a big moment and stuff like that. But this guy's incredible. Incredible. I mean, just look at him play. He's a power forward. What is he like? 260, 270 pounds. Runs like a gazelle. He's like a mixture of Magic Johnson and Larry Johnson. His game may not be the most. Oh my God, he's doing this. But I mean, if you if you see him, the way that he the 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 amount of production that he puts forth, this guy's incredible. I mean, you may not like him because of the the decision, but on a basketball court. He earned my respect when he went to the Miami Heat. I actually, not the not the season where they lost to the Mavericks, but the season after that. The season where he got mad because Derrick Rose won the MVP. He was so fucking pissed about that shit, he shut Derrick Rose down in the playoffs. Now, mind you, Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose is like, I don't know, 6'1", 6'2", uh, like 50 pounds, 60 pounds uh, lighter than LeBron. LeBron shut him down. He couldn't get past LeBron. LeBron just... Clout them. So, and I'm high on Derrick Rose. I think Derrick Rose is a truth. Um, but LeBron, his hands down, he's the greatest small for it. He's, he's in a talk for, nah, he's not the greatest ever, but he's in them. He's in the talk. He's in, to me, he's in my top five. Um, who else? We talking about the, the four position. Who do I think is the greatest power forward of all time? Some say uh, Charles Barkley. Some say Carl Malone. That's kind of before my time. Some could say Tim Duncan. He has an argument. He has a rings. He's Mr. Fundamental. I personally think that, in my opinion, um, Rodman. I really get. I really think Rodman. If you was having an all-time team, you can't have all. You can't have all of these off offensive jerk juggernauts. You kind of need somebody that's like defensively going to get all the boards, going going to do all the dirty work. And Rodman to me was like the greatest power forward because he was not the biggest guy. He was not. He just knew how to get in there, and he knew how to get in your mind. And he knew how to get those boards. He wore dresses and all of that stuff. But he was like a hell of a power forward. I mean, he would, he had crazy games. He would have like uh, 20, 20 boards or some shit like crazy. I mean, he didn't really care about points, but he had crazy amounts of boards. He was really, to me, the true definition of a power forward. He would get down in there. He would get dirty. He would get gritty. So we, we all talking about players in their prime. All right. So Dennis Rodman in his prime was was no joke. He would get. He was a worm. He was a man. He had a Nike contract, Converse contract. He was a man. He was. He was big. So I, to me, my, in my opinion, 
Dennis Rodman is kind of underrated. He's a hell of a uh, power forward. Towards the end of his career, he was, you know, he went to do, play like in a ABA or some shit like that. But in my opinion, this is my team, damn it. I ain't, you ain't, ain't saying your team. If you want to put your, post your team, post your team at the bottom. Uh, in center, the greatest center I've seen in my life in their prime with Shaq. Shaq was just unstoppable. With bad free throws, I would still put him on my team. Now, I mean, is this is controversial because you have uh, you have, uh, what's his name? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the, the creator of the, of the Skyhook. And if you, if you put uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar there, that's rightfully so. He deserves to be there. He's in, he's in the talk of the, uh, uh, all-time, one of the all-time greatest uh, centers of all time you know i mean i mean one one of the all all time greatest players of all time he has the most points scored you know he played to like 40 or something like that he played a lot of years but uh kareem abdul jabbar definitely deserves that spot but i me personally i never seen kareem i read the book showtime and i know he was a great but i've heard of times like when they went up against the 76ers he was having some issues he was having some issues up against the 76ers. Um, he had issues against certain players. It wasn't like he was just... But Shaq was just dominant. It was nobody that could stop Shaq. Shaq was... I mean, come on now. He was embarrassing dudes. You know, Chris, Chris Dudley, the Chris Dudley dunk. Shaq was funky. Shaq was nasty in his prime. His whole career doesn't compare to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But in his prime, Shaq was a man. Shaq was like, he would he would bang on you. He would just embarrass you. And everybody knew they couldn't fuck with Shaq. Shaq was, he's like a superhero. <laughs> it's like a mutant, you know? Like, damn, how, how does dude, uh, you know, how does dude dominate like that? But he went to the heat. He ended up winning another chip. A lot of people argue that. If, I mean, me, I'm one of them. Is that if he would have stayed with the Lakers, he would. I mean, him and Kobe, they would have won another chip. So that's my top. That's my top. That's my top five uh, greatest players. That I mean, if I had to choose a team, who would I who I would choose? I would choose. Uh, I would choose th those five: Magic, Jordan, uh, LeBron James. Dennis Rodman and Shaq. Top five players of all time. What I think. I mean, in my opinion. I haven't seen, you know, it's going to be a lot of guys talking about, oh, shit, you ain't seen nothing. Uh, you know, Kevin McHale was a man, or all these people before my time. Oh, you know, Elgin Baylor was a man, or, you know, uh, you forget about Oscar Robinson. I mean, these are people that's before my time. So I need to educate myself, or maybe you need to educate me in the comments below section. But, I mean, I can't put people I didn't see. I I, I can only put people that have somewhat of an idea. I can at least find footage on YouTube and see. Uh, so that's my opinion. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I'm uh, Eddie Starr. All right? Peace.